Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. Uh, so today we're going to talk about a different kind of product than normally I do. Uh, this is not a, an electronics product or some cool wearable tech. This is the Revo Party Barge Beverage Tub Ice Bucket Food Display. The Party Barge's display is like having a vending machine on ice. Okay, so this one is... I guess has about two weeks to go. It has passed its goal, so it's twenty-four thousand, uh, and its goal was fifteen thousand, and they have one hundred twenty-seven backers. Not so bad. Uh, so basically, it's a cooler slash food tray, as it mentions here. Um, so basically, it's like a compartment. Um, it's got three compartments, uh, three sets of compartments, I guess. And you can put ice, and, and because it's insulated, you can put ice on one side and hot stuff in the middle and hot stuff on the other side. And hypothetically, they don't, uh, they don't affect each other. And uh, it's flexible, so you can put, you know, you can put wine on one side, salad on the other, et cetera, et cetera. And whatever you want, condiments. It comes with trays, it comes with an ice scoop, um, and it comes with, uh, if you want... You can actually get light up ice cubes that get this kind of cool stuff. Party night. So yeah, add the Revo light cubes for effect. So let's just take a quick look at their video. Video is pretty decent. Not too fancy. I don't like them when they're too fancy. So I love having get togethers. And I really like having them with beverage tubs. Problem is, most beverage tubs aren't insulated, so the ice melts fast and condensation soaks the surface, sometimes even the floor. And they're usually a single compartment that limits your storage options. So, you know, yeah, basically, exactly what I was saying. Um, and I do agree with them about the, uh, you know, if you just had some ice bucket or whatever, plastic bucket, it ends up dripping water all over your table and, and whatnot. Um, that's true, uh, but now let's look at the product. This is the one, basically the one thing that I kind of have an issue with is the physics of this whole thing. Um, so watch when the dude brings it out and puts it on the table, because this is a barge. It's supposed to be like you can just put it out, um, and so, you know, let's have a big game night, Super Bowl party, whatever. Hard to get ice out of, they need constant refill. And here we go. Solves it all. And... Okay, ready for the bro party in the man cave. The problem is, like, look at this dude wielding this giant thing. So it's like 44 inches long, so it's almost 4 feet wide. Dice out of and, need constant refilling. The party and oh yeah, that totally looks lightweight. Solves it all. <laughs> and he's only got beer in half of it. So, once it's on the table, okay, that's great. You know, put it up on the counter, then fill it up, okay. But the whole barge part as in like you're hauling a whole bunch of stuff out there putting it out into the party uh, that's where like I said the physics this start to be an issue an ice bucket and a food display with three individually insulated compartments um, yeah the rest of the time yeah okay it looks really cool with the light up ice cubes in there good for a frat party so let's just talk about this okay yeah the ice looks good um let's talk about this use case okay so you've got i think they say it's gonna take like 18 18 bottles of wine on both i guess on both sides between the two 18 bottles of wine or like 30 something beers um yeah 18 bottles of wine, 39 bottled beverages okay so Despite my technical background, I actually also have a background in events. Uh, and let me tell you, so a case of beer, depending on, you know, how, uh, if they're bottles or cans or whatever, it's a lot. It's pretty heavy. Um, much less something this size with, I think they have the size here. Okay, so something 17 inches by... Uh, nine inches deep, I think, or the compartment itself is, here it is, inside measurement, nine inches deep, wide, whatever, six inches height, and then the length, depending on the compartment, is seven, nine, or twelve. 
So this is obviously the big one, and this one is still pretty big. So just imagine if you were using it to serve ice. Okay, so you have the ice in the fridge, you load into the into the this compartment, you fill it up with ice, and uh, you, then you have to haul it out to the party, which is say on your back porch or in the living room. So how much does would that weigh? Um, you know, or let's say you've got the party going all night and you had the beer in there and the beers are all gone and the ice is all melted and now this thing is full of water. And this comes back to that dude trying to lug this thing, right? So I just did some simple calculations. So let's say for the smaller side, uh, if you had a 9 inch by 6 inch by 12 inch compartment, this is actually the density of water in in pounds. So one cubic inch is 0.36 pounds. So just the smaller compartment, if it was full to the top of water, that's 23 pounds. Okay, so even if it's only half full, uh, let's say it's 3 inches deep, now you're still talking almost, almost 12 pounds, give or take. Um, and then now let's look at if it's 17 inches and half full, you've got uh, 16 pounds. So total, you know, you're talking 27 pounds of just water, um, you know, or if, if even if it's not water, if it's still frozen, um, it weighs the same. It will be piled up higher. Um, and I can tell you 30-something glass bottles. Let's just say, uh, you know, you can find everything on Google. So a one case of beer is 24 bottles usually, or 36 cans. So 12-inch bottle is something like a 37 pounds for a tall bottle. So, yeah, I guess that's a tall 12-ounce bottle. So let's say you had 39 instead of 24, so whatever, 27 divided by 24 times 39 bottles. If you had that thing really packed full of bottles... 60 pounds worth of beer. Wow. Okay. So forget the 30 pounds worth of ice or 27 pounds worth of ice. <laughs> if you actually fill it up with beer, um, yeah, it's like 30, what, what did I say? <laughs> 60 pounds. Um, so, yeah, cool idea. But um, at least in the case of the use case displayed in the video with the guy bringing out the full thing. So even he didn't have it both sides he only had one side right so i guess i could go in and try to count how many beers were in there when he puts it down but but um you know don't try to be too macho bro because you're gonna throw your shoulder out or strain your back putting it down the table so yeah he's got i mean he's got at least 12 in there so that's got to be 10 pounds of let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i guess 13 bottles so he's got okay 13 bottles is something like 20 pounds worth of beer plus the ice. Hot dogs hopefully don't weigh that much. Um, but yeah, that's 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 a limiting factor, okay? So unless you're, um, you know, a clean and jerk expert or you're Mr. New Orleans Saints fan guy who's super buff, um, I think you better put the thing down on the table first and then carry the beer over. Um so that's my first kind of giant red flag to things that I see in the video that, you know, you probably wouldn't necessarily anticipate in advance, but totally will be an issue when you get it. Um, that's not to say that the thing doesn't do what it promises to do. It totally does. Um, but the whole barge aspect and shown in the video, just carrying it around, kind of an issue. The size basically inherently means it's going to be heavy as, as, as a mofo. Um, and, uh, and then there's what happens after the party. Okay. So the beer bottles are gone. You've still got the, the, that 30, 40 pounds of say 30, 27 pounds of water in there, right? How do you get it out? Um, do you try to lift the whole thing up and carry it out with now it's a different problem. It's not just the weight, it's the unwieldiness and the spill factor. Okay. So you have a 17 inch wide cavity, whatever pool of water and uh now there's what's known as this is really going back to my schooling days the free surface effect so the fact that the water in that 17 inch thing can now slosh back and forth 
that means if you go like this way, suddenly all the weight, a great deal of weight shifts, basically the center of mass will shift from the middle of that third to the far extreme right part of that third, for example, um, as, as it gets unstable. And the likelihood that it'll go from three inches deep then to off the edge and spill all over the place is, I would say, pretty non-zero. Um, so you got to be really careful lifting this thing up um, and not spilling it. If it's full, if one side or both sides, even worse, is, is full of of uh, of water, um, the likelihood that you can lift it up and carry it across the room without you know bumping it too much and going forward and whatever. Um, I'm really getting animated here. Um, is non-zero. I would say it's it's pretty close to 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 greater than 50-50. I would say even. Um, so what do you do? You have to get a cup and start dumping it out because there's actually that's one thing I would say would be maybe for the next version is maybe consider putting a drain plug in some of these um, so that you could uh, you know drain it out while it's still on the table. You know, maybe push it to the edge of the table, drain some water out. I don't know. Otherwise, you got to take a cup and scoop it out and put it into a bucket or something uh, just to get this thing to be light enough and not spill friendly enough to take to the sink and dump it. And even then, when you dump it, what do you do? Because let's say you got water on both sides. Okay. Do I do that and hope that I guess I go for the more full one and then dump some out and then go to the less full one? So. These are things you're going to face if you have this, and you're going to fucking curse yourself out if you didn't think about it until after the party's over. Um, so anyway, that's my spiel on the Revo. I'm actually still going to give it uh, a thumbs up because I warned you about the problems beforehand. So now that you know them, uh, hopefully not a big deal for you, uh, and you think I'm just totally being um, you know, a, a, a worry ward or whatever. Um, but actually I think that's pretty, pretty legit and maybe they should consider that for the Revo 2.0 or, um, you know, maybe a stretch goal is to add drain plugs. I don't know. Um, if you are from Revo and you think I'm totally off or you can think of a better way, I guess if you're, if you're David, um, please leave us a comment. Definitely don't mean any disrespect. It's a, it's a pretty cool product and I think, um, I think, uh, it does what it says. It's just... Especially the part where the guy carries it out. Like, it's clear that this thing is heavy as fuck, right? Um, and you do mention the weight of the product, but not the weight when it's full. So that would be one cool thing. The other thing I think I would like to see is... Um, or if it's in here and I missed it, please let me know. Uh, the other thing I would like to see is... Yeah, weight 14 pounds. So that's actually not even that light by itself. Um, the other thing I would like to see is something about the insulation so it, it does mention that it's made of polyethylene and it's antimicrobial etc etc um but it doesn't say what the insulation is it just says insulation so i'm guessing if you chop this thing in half it's just got some foam inside it's just you know uh, injection molded around some uh some uh styrofoam etc etc but anyway it would be cool to add that as well so, anyway, if you guys have any questions, feedback, do give us a thumbs up uh, and consider subscribing. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Okay, that's it for today. See you next time on Go Kick Me.